David, hello. Hi. Today I want to focus a little bit on something special and maybe reevaluate a little bit how we do the wiring. So let's let's first introduce a little bit where this whole concept comes from. It's really the integrated retail e plan value chain, right? And um, one of the things that we we uh, look at is of course the way that you build your panels. The, there is the yesterday, there is the today, and the tomorrow. So the, the one thing that we can all say is that we all have an increased pricing pressure. So we have to come out with things cheaper. Uh, we have lack of personnel. We have uh, lack of qualified personnel. That's, that's an issue, right? Uh, delivery time has to be always shorter. And um, well, let's face it, maybe some of inefficient operations. I'm going to get to that a little bit because this is a study that we, we stumbled over, VDMA uh, in Europe came up with a study here, <clears throat> I'm not going to go too far in detail, but they said that really, when we look at your and my time, we really spend only a certain percentage of our time on the real production. Um, you can pretty much uh, look at it in, in, in percentages and you realize that um, actually 75% of the time is really spent on this assembly portion, right? There is a little bit of mechanical work up front, like the holes and whatever you have to do, but astoundingly, assembling the whole thing and the wiring is totals 72% in average of your time, out of which 49% is spent on the wiring. So half of your time you spend it on assembly and wiring, wiring itself. Now, this is a little bit, you know, in that 80-20 rule, where I just want to go to uh, to the study and, and look up the study a little bit further de in, in detail, and this is going back to that study from, from the university, we can check it out, and they came up with different methods of, you know, optimizing your work, and they reduced uh, a, an average 58 hour to uh, a, a 24 hour. Now, it's, it's basically here, I, I dumped it all together, what the university said, 58 hours as, as an average, we can reduce it to 24 hours, of course, uh, our, our workload will be a little bit restructured in, in di different ways, but really when we look at it, I want to focus here on the, what came out of that study. And then what we actually aim at is to think about how smart wiring can help us by either preparing the wires like we just did here. So you have some wires that are prepared. You can see the labels on the wires. They actually have a wire label, like an identifier, and the source and target, okay? And you will be able, with that information, you will be able to simply take over these prefabricated wires and do the assembly. And my aim here is really why I'm focusing on this, it's because it takes up 49% of your time, okay? This is really the whole uh, target behind this, and this is why we're doing this today. And today I want to work a little bit differently. Typically, do you actually prepare the wire and then install it? Or uh, how do you actually go about typically? Well, usually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to prepare a wire and then place it. Prepare a wire and then place it. And do it manually, step by step. Just like step it. by step. So yeah. you're doing what we call the landing and the fabrication at the same time. Okay? Exactly. Here, I actually prefabricated the wires. Okay. And I want to start the timer basically uh, for you when you start installing the wires. So you can pick up the wires. We will be working here in uh, smart wiring. So this is smart wiring as you can see. Of course for any given wire what you will be able to do is just pick up the wire. Yeah. You have here the source and the target for this particular wire. Mm -hmm. You can of course if you want to reduce the number of wires here you can use the filter. Now we're working this is an 18 gauge. This is color white. So you can quickly just reduce this to the color white and you can look it up here and say, okay, I'm, I need to connect to uh, 224 or A2224. If you can find it yeah. visually, perfect, you got it here, right? Uh, you can see A224, yeah. A224, this is actually what it is. So you can actually check it out. So we want you to wire up here to this device here, which is actually uh, shown more in detail when you click on the eye there. And when you're done, you basically complete by pressing the red 
stuff. We prepared these in advance, so you don't have to worry about it. It's crimped, it's labeled. You just have to pick them one by one and go and install them. So this is the one, first one, I'll leave it there. Yeah. And it's already there. Uh, so here, let's see how much time it takes to install 13 wires. I'll let you go. You know here the installation, right? Yep. The installation is fairly simple. Uh, you have a couple of devices. Unfortunately, uh, we did not label them. What we want to show you here is the usage of the graphics to actually tell you which one it is. They are pretty obvious. You have some relays here, you have a PLC, you have terminals, other terminals, you have communication system from different companies. They all have their way to connect. You have the designation of the connections here, which is displayed right in your uh, source and target. So theoretically, you, can, you would be able to just use those. Unfortunately, since I did not take the time to label them, there was not enough space or time to do it. I have them organized, so this is my TV uh, here. We see TV3, this, yeah. this one goes from one to 20 <laughs> in groups of five. I'll let you do the wiring. So let's just put this on the side. Here's your wire. Perfect. And start, ready, go. All right. Let's see how much time this takes. See, I personally look at this, and <coughs> I like what you just did there, but what do you think we uh, we tell the engineer? Because really, uh, we could probably do a jumper with a shorter wire, right? Yeah. So uh, maybe um, we, we can type in and, and, and explain, you know, uh, could be shorter. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, by using a different terminal connection and you know what we'll see maybe we can optimize this the next time around and um, we get this comment out to the uh, designer uh, so you can just continue it's safe it's good it's Perfect. a way to just keep that message so you were on this one right uh, uh, yeah right. exactly xd12 all right Cool, I think we can stop it, right? You've yeah. done all the wires, so let's stop. You can see here in 16 minutes, 57, so let's say 17 minutes, yeah. you did the 13 wires. Good, cool. 
So now the next step will be actually to fabricate these 13 wires according to the details we have here. So we'll move on to the uh, fabrication table. Um, interestingly is um, we'll see if, if really uh, the same level of expertise is really used there mm -hmm. or needed. Maybe not, maybe so, who knows. But it's gonna give you a good idea of how much time it actually takes to fabricate them. So hello, today we want to show you how easy it is to actually prefabricate the wires. So number one, of course, once we are in E-Plan, we have this tool from Phoenix Contact that allows us to directly jump to the marking, right? And this, what it does, it pretty much exports the data from ePlan into a smart, um, in, into a smart interface, which immediately pulls up all the labels. Now, what's left here is simply to go and print this. I'm on my tablet here. It's connected directly to the printer. The printer prints the label. We will look for the different wires that we need, as you can see, and you'll produce. So we'll actually count, you'll do a couple of wires. When we reach 10 wires, we have a good average, we'll see how much time it actually takes. Take it um, with the tools that you wish to use here. We have some common tools. Uh, here we have some Rital tools actually out of the box, right? Whichever you prefer, we'll see who's actually faster. In overall, what we want to say is both of these people have no uh, electrical experience. Right? Marie-Josée is known to do the invoices and order processing at ePlan and delivery. Raphael is actually known to talk with the customers in and out. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> never have they actually used these tools before. So we'll see. How much time does it actually take if we ask them to do these wires? One, two, three, go ahead, go. Ten minutes for ten wires. Good, good average. Bravo. So we saw that the solutions we are proposing with the smart wiring actually will be handling forty nine percent of your complete manufacturing. Technically, if we um, look at the details. You saw these details, right? We have some mechanical work to do, cutting, drilling. We have some assembly to do, with labeling, and we have the wiring to do. Now we showed you that if we have the length, we can fabricate and we can land separately, not necessarily by the same person. And this is actually interesting. Let's take a look here. So if we say the cutting and drilling, the assembly here, which is mainly done by mechanical people, Okay, or it's a mechanical task, let's put it this way. That has to be done anyways before I start with the wiring. Today it's one person. We saw that we can fabricate and we can land separately. We also learned out of the timing that we have that 
here, two thirds, two minutes in average are spent on the fabrication. One minute, roughly one third of that time is spent on the landing. Now my intention is to take this fabrication time here and to prefabricate the wires. This means I'm taking this up here to the start of day one. So when I start, I start here with the fabrication of the wire. Of course, the mechanical people, they will start at the same time. They will do their mechanical work, drilling, cutting. They will do the assembly. And when they're done with the assembly, I can then ask here the electrician to start wiring. So I'm landing the wires here. So the wire landing with the wires that have been prefabricated up to here will be landed here. Now, of course, I can't cut this portion here. This will come here too, so I have to test the whole thing. But the interesting thing is I took this portion out, which represented over the whole thing. I took out this 33% and I moved it up to the start here, which was impossible before because it was one person doing it all. Now I'm splitting up that work if I have the length. Of course, if you have the length, you can do this. You can prefab the wires and you can do this. So in conclusion, when I look at this, what it means is I can take the fabrication, move it right to the beginning, do the rest of my work. My delivery time is 33% shorter. This is really the benefit of getting your length. If you get the length, this is the result. 33% quicker. It's amazing.